All right, official Q and A. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Last show of the uh, first uh, one week run, but we're coming back uh, every once a week for five months more. It's been extended to six months. Woo! Very rare thing. <coughs> because a lot of movies just do VOD these days, but I want to get away from that. Try to do more theatrical. So 22 more shows over the next six months. And uh, yeah, it's a great little venue, fun movie. So you guys have any questions? How long did it take you to make it? Um, this one took about a year, really? maybe right. a little over a year, because I started shooting stuff, uh, the like the different dimensions. That stuff that shot that was shot in early 2022. Then the final stuff got shot in, uh, I think, late 2022. Yeah, or maybe it was mid 2023. So it took over a year, year and a half, and uh, ultimately we were able to pull together our story. So yeah, initially I thought it was gonna be a lot like the first one. Then six months later, I was like, no, we gotta get away, do little dimensions, do a sci-fi story. Because you don't want to do the same thing over and over, right? So that's why it took a while. And was it because you were throwing around like, like great ideas in the script about, you know, making ideas for films to make, it just kind of made sense to make sci-fi? Um, I, th I, th I felt uh, restricted by trying to stay in the real world, you know, the, that one dimension that we had in the first movie. I thought it, it would just be more fun yeah. to make it different, multiple dimensions, sci-fi, sci-fi ideas, also have film, also have the other concerns. So yeah, <laughs> now the two movies are very different, but related, so you know, as, as you saw. So now someone can watch the first one and watch the second one, not be bored. So I'm gonna try to do that um, going forward. Next one is called uh, 53 Hidden Entrance Spaceships. And in that, the couple, the detectives will get, she'll, she'll be a detective, uh, Allison, in the next one. They'll get an assignment to, uh, the government has found uh, these entrance spaceships throughout the, throughout the world, brought them over to New York, but they've gone missing. So, so, They'll talk about the story behind each spaceship that they're supposed to find. That'll be the next movie. Kind of like the first one, but with more sci-fi. After that, I'm gonna take each one of those short stories and pull them into, pull them out into a big movies. Like, uh, you know, like uh, X-Files episodes, but full-on movies. So, 51 new movies, 52, yeah, 51 new movies. And I have another movie in mind that's, that's being worked on about modern indie filmmaking. So that's a separate movie. So I'm working on 52 projects. I want all of these to come out like uh, one every two months or so. But this movie will keep playing for the next five, next five months while I get the new movies out. So hopefully I can get a couple of movies out, uh, a couple more movies out this year, get faster getting these programs out. So that's the plan. So when you were making this, did you write it all out and then make it? Or start making it and writing as you were going a little bit? A um, lot of the main story was scripted. The uh, narrations, what Allison, the character, Leah did. Uh, we worked on that character for a couple of years, since 2020. Uh, so I gave her notes, cover these items, but add your own you know, thoughts to it. So that stuff was partially improvised. So I got the idea from, uh, Chantal Ackerman's notes, notes from Home, where uh, it's a documentary that was shot in the 70s, where her mom, she reads letters that her mom sent from Brussels, Belgium, but, but set to uh, 1970s footage in New York. So that's a very interesting way to get information across. So instead of these two characters just talking about the stuff that she was narrating about, I just had her do narrations and notes to herself. But yeah, that, Almost every scene was scripted or partially scripted. Yeah. And then I, I came up with these wa this wacky structure 
ultimately all to bring everything together in the end. So hopefully it worked. So that's the show. That's a lot of filming. Uh, you're, you're a filmmaker, right? I'm not. No, I'm not. And uh, so how, how did you end up doing the blog? Um, actually, uh, started this in Orlando, Florida, mm -hmm. covering the film industry there 25 years ago. Wow, nice. And turned it into doing something in New York. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Nice. And, and what do you do in Green Room now? Covering the film and TV industry. Awesome. All so right. whether it's production going on or if it's uh, like this. Yeah, sure. Presentations, mm -hmm. festivals, whatnot. Mm -hmm. Anything film and TV related. Awesome. I'll send you press releases. Nice. And uh, information on the next shows. I've got 22 shows set up, so I'll, we'll have the dates and all that. So I'll send them over. And I see you're also promoting other people's yeah. work too. Yeah, I show other people's movies. Uh, we showed only in theaters. We showed that we showed Thank You Five from uh, Chicago. We showed uh, Chetsamoka's Curse. You probably saw me posting ads all the time. We showed Man Baby earlier in the earlier in the year. I've done eleven shows here. Nice. So keep keep him busy. Yeah, and if any filmmakers want to do shows, send them my way. And I'll put them in touch. And what do you do? Uh, I'm an artist. Nice. My partner is a filmmaker. Oh, cool. So. What kind of art do you do? Um, so I'm a, I'm a visual artist. Nice. Yeah. Um, Email me on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I'm a visual artist. And you do a show, and we'll, we'll exchange the info. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, your partner is a filmmaker. Yeah, she's a filmmaker. Yeah. 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 Nice, yeah. nice. Oh no, I wanted it to work for regular people, but I'm sure our filmmakers would dig it more. Like the secret films, I think. Yes, yes, I mean, yeah. A lot of inside indie film, baseball stuff, so. But, you know. But, I mean, on the other hand, a lot of my audience are into film, so. You know. I haven't gotten any major complaints. People, someone watching it going, what is this? Why are they talking about movies all the time? Uh, on your sites, can people do can can people advertise? Um, I'd like to right now. We aren't. Okay, so I'll, I'll I would be interested okay. because I got uh, I got five months of shows, so you know <laughs> I got to keep reminding people. So yeah, look into it, see what you want to do, and I'll I'll look and find some ads. Yeah, and I'll check out the site more. There we go. So hopefully in a couple of months we'll have a new show, new movie. And in the meantime, come watch this again if you want. <laughs> Let me know. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you got got to watch the uh, first one and the second one. 